Oh, back in costume. Oh! Yeah, right. Now! We're gonna have to get the cane back fast. No! Whoa, that was a clutch one. Source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. It, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Gibberish. Right. How about I just call you Bob? <laughs> He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Okay, I guess we'll do it your way. Okay. Bob Cooper. Is that supposed to be the one with the giant club? Or no, I don't think so. We got Bob yes. safely back to the hideout, huh. where everyone Scottish. took an immediate liking to him. Huh. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Huh. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just... bad. Huh. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. Nah, After don't shoot that big guy. Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Crap. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for the Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape. Fast. Bob. Oh, great. Bob's got the mission. Run while charging. And a charge shot. That'd be useful. Alright, Bob. Wait, he doesn't take the- he took Slice Cane? No. Oh, well, duh, but... Still, we gotta get the first cane back. I miss Tennessee's cane. It was fun. 
All right. So we got a big bone. Giant slam. Oh, Bob roll. Ah, maybe not. All right. Bob. Well, he doesn't have the strength to kill him in like two hits. All right, we gotta get stronger. Ah, dang it. Stupid bot. What's your assassinating attack? I'm gonna slam down on him. The Murray games. Ah, uh, it's the Murray. Okay, Murray. We need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back in the climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, sumo slap, huh. duck and cover, super sling, and whack a choke. How about Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises. But they are Murray approved, so let's get started. All right. Let's begin with the first one. Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm going to pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers <coughs> will stick things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Okay. <clears throat> keep shifting your weight. Oh, jeez. That's using your balance. Ah. Oh, God. Don't let those pink ones scramble your egg. <laughs> Uh, All right. Way to stay on your feet, kid. That's one. All right. Next one was. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed, and not just at the dinner table. Okay. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, swing for the fences. There we go. Way to go, Slugger. You probably could do it all day. The penguins would get irritable. Next up, the sumo thing. During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength. Holy to fuck, that's a big penguin. No matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. 
you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. Okay. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power. Dirty fighter. Dirty fighter. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's using your strength, champ. All right. Uh, there we are. To be a true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win. Okay. Make those penguins fly. There's one. Got him. Yeah, great shooting, Ken, but don't get cocky. All right. Moving on. A real fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. Whoa. To make these split second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are going to start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. All right. Put the smack down on those clowns. Got him. Oh yeah! That's making your punches jump! When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. You beat up two cats! Out all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. Dodge! Okay, we get your food. You know what you gotta do. Now make the Murray proud. All right.
Training. 